guy with seven fights under his belt, Steve Bruno, against a guy making his NHB debut in Talon. Talon, very tall for this weight class. And Talon looks very uncomfortable on his feet. Well, some guys in his, uh, from Marcio Simas camp claim Talon's been training a lot on their stand-up. Did, well, didn't see it right there, but that's just an experience edge, and this is certainly Bruno's strong point. I'm kind of surprised Bruno went down into his guard there. I am also. I think that was a mistake by Bruno because, as you see, the way Talon took them punches, he was turning his head, which, which shows that he doesn't like to be hit. I think if he kept it on his feet, he may be able to get this thing over with. Well, Talon's got a good guard and some long legs. He's dangerous from this position. Well, you know, Dan, Dean, we have both seen Talon all over the Florida jiu-jitsu circuit and the national jiu-jitsu circuit. I mean, he's an accomplished jiu-jitsu stylist. And, uh, you know, Bruno, his, his game favors the stand-up. So, you know, like Dean said, I think this could be a mistake here. Well, Talon's got eight years of jiu-jitsu training under uh, Marcio Simas. Also trains with Paul Rodriguez, who we're going to see in our main event against George Rodriguez on the MMA side. Jorge Masvidal. George Masvidal. Jeez, what did I say? I don't know. And, Sorry. And I Bruno, like Bruno's correct, actually doing a good job here of just keeping it, keeping it real tight to, to get that stand-up. And I think he did that on purpose because he wanted to get that stand-up. And he also felt Talon's guard. I know he, that thing had to feel uncomfortable because them legs were everywhere. Bruno misses a big right hand. Talon shoots in for the single leg. See if he can finish it and get it back on the bottom, which is on the ground, which is where he wants it to be. Referee's going to stop this. They're tied up in the ropes. Talon certainly doesn't want to stop here. Yeah, I honestly think that, you know, as you were saying earlier, I, was, I think it's a mistake for the Marcio Simas camp to put him out there against an experienced fighter because this is his first fight. Well, like we talked about earlier, uh, he, he may be an experience in the MMA world, but his jiu-jitsu is, is pretty top-notch. Good right hand from Bruno. Bruno. Now, this is where Bruno has to be careful. It's a, it's a gamble. As you saw, Talon doesn't like to be hit, but it's a gamble because he is so dangerous from the bottom. But if you notice, uh, Bruno's doing something smart. He's perching up high as he's throwing those strikes. Yeah, he, he postured well. Does not want to dive in with a, with a wild punch and, and leave himself exposed because Talon's certainly looking triangle. I think, I think this is going to frustrate Talon. All these stand-ups are really going to frustrate him. I'll nice tell you what, shot by Talon. Talon got in, got in deep with the shot. May have been an illegal knee from Bruno. I no, think it, it hit the body. It hit the body. Okay. I'll tell you what, Talon had a good initial shot, but just did not finish the takedown. It's a difference between a jiu-jitsu guy looking for a takedown and a wrestler looking for a takedown. Yeah, he, didn't, it, he, he, he penetrated and then backed off. That's definitely a classic, an old-school jiu-jitsu style. If I'm Bruno, I back up and ask the ref to stand him up. Smart move by Bruno. Bruno started his training with the Lions Den about five years ago, then, then went to Operation Enduring Freedom. He's a veteran of the armed services. It's actually in a helicopter crash. Yeah, that's a great story, too. East. Great story, too. Hey, you know, while we're talking about it, we just give a shout-out to all those guys in the armed services who are over there protecting our freedom right now. Absolutely. Jeff Munson wanted me to say what's up to them, too. <laughs> oh, Dean, I knew you were coming with something. You know I was coming with something. Huh? I knew it. I knew it. It's a big softball thrown right down the middle. Yeah. <laughs> it's alone. Doing a nice job of holding. Contorting that left leg over... Bruno's ba back of his neck, a la Nino Shrembry, maybe looking for triangle, possibly Oma Plata. I don't think Talon's ever going to get Bruno on his back. I've wrestled with Bruno, and Talon's wrestling doesn't seem to be, he doesn't seem to have a lot of confidence in it to be able to even get this. Good right hand from Bruno. Now, Talon did not like this. That's it. Hit That's like it. That. that stunned him. That, that was a good, hard shot. That finishes the fight. <laughs> Steve Bruno giving his ultimate warrior Jim Helwig impersonation, <laughs> grabbing the ropes. You gotta like Bruno. He's a hard worker, and he's an exciting guy. And Talone took a big shot there. I actually thought Talone would actually last a little bit longer with his jiu-jitsu experience. I thought defensively he would be able to hang a little bit longer. I'll tell you what, that was, that was a big hard shot. Look at him right on the chin. Talone's head bounced right off the mat as well. Like I did, I think it's my life. He teaches about a 